So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're going to take a quick look at Prisma Scana, an upgraded version of the original Scana. So compared to the original Scana, it has higher critical strike chance of 20% compared to the original's 5%, higher critical damage multiplier of 200% versus the original's 150%, and faster attack speed of 1 versus the original 0.833. Now, on paper, this weapon doesn't actually look too strong, because it only does 35.1 damage per hit, 24.5 out of which is slash, and 5.3 is both impact and puncture. And when you contrast this with Broken War, which is the strongest single sword weapon, yeah, the damage isn't anywhere near that, because the Broken War does a 90 damage per hit. However, since this is Prisma Scana, it has access to the Bright Purity mod, which increases your melee damage by 100%, and this is pretty big because, well, it scales your normal damage, it scales your crit damage, it scales your elemental damage, and it basically means you have 1 and 5 sixths of a pressure point on the weapon, rather than just 1. And on top of that, it also has the Purity effect, so once you gather enough affinity in a mission, it will explode, dealing 1000 corrosive damage to enemies around the player, and it will restore 25% of your maximum health and increase increase your health by 25% for a short while as well. And compared to Broken War, it also has higher critical multipliers, so when you're running the Blood Rush Body Count combo, which is sort of the standard way to build melee weapons nowadays, the damage is gonna be very similar. Now, since this is a single sword weapon, it can run Crimson Dervish, which is straight up the strongest stance in the entire game. It has three different combos, and the first two hits in every combo do 300% weapon damage. And the third hit in every combo is a strike that will hit multiple enemies, does 300% damage, and hits twice. So as I've said already, on paper, kind of mediocre, you know, sort of weak sauce, nothing too special, but stack Bright Purity on top of Pressure Point, add the Blood Rush Body Count combo, and equip it with Crimson Dervish, and ta-da, you have one of the strongest melee weapons in the entire game. Now to get this weapon, you can either buy it from Baraketir for 510 ducats and 175,000 credits, or you can trade for it with other players, and at the moment on Warframe Market, the price is somewhere between 100 and 300 platinum. But if you want to buy it from other players, I would recommend you price check it on either Warframe Market or whatever app you use for trading so you don't get ripped off. Prisma Scana requires a little bit of investment. First of all, you need to get the weapon, so you either have to buy it from Baraketir or trade for it with other players. Then you have to get Bright Purity, which you can either get by reaching the rank of Pure with new Loka and spending 25,000 standing with them, or trade for it with other players. And at the moment, once again, I price checked it on Warframe Market, and the price is around 10 Platinum. Then there is Blood Rush, which is okay because you can farm it yourself from the Orokin Moon Spy mission, however, Body Count right now is unobtainable in the game. But a ton of people farmed a ludicrous amount of them, so the price isn't too high, you can get it for about 30 Platinum. And you should get Body Count even if you don't want to use it with Prisma Scana, because it's a very useful mod, it just works with every single melee weapon, it increases the damage, and you should get it now before the price goes too high. But once you get everything and you put it all in place, this one weapon becomes a complete monster. And that's why I would recommend it to anyone, this is a really good weapon, even though, as I've said like two times already, it doesn't look very good on paper. And one thing that I almost forgot about is the 10% status chance, and while it's not high enough in my opinion to mod for, it's still nice to get a status proc with sort of every 10th hit, especially if it's a slash proc, which with Prisma Scana is gonna add a lot of damage. So either wait for Baraketir to bring it back and buy it with ducats, or trade for it with other players using Platinum, because this weapon is worth it. Now the contest for today is gonna be very similar to the one we did yesterday, where I asked you to come up with a new Warframe and send it to mcgamersisageveaway at gmail.com. Today, I want you to come up with a new game mode, describe it, you know, tell me what it is, how it works, and once again, send it to mcgamersisageveaway at gmail.com. And once again, I do not care how in-depth the description of the new game mode is. I will leave that up to you. The title of the email this time around has to be Game Mode, and once again, don't forget to put your in-game name at the bottom of the email. If you don't do one of these two things, you will be disqualified. The winners of the contest will be announced this Sunday, and once the contests are over, I will put a message in the description below this video. And that's pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.